The Comet 67P cheryumov yarosiminko Perhaps the strangest solar system object ever observed up close in the course of the space age. It was the target of the Rosetta probe, whose 10-year journey began in March 2004 under the sponsorship of the European Space Agency. The probe is now orbiting the nucleus of 67P, and investigators hope to confirm the comet's link to the very origins of our solar system. It has long been claimed that comets accreted from a primordial disk of ice and dust out of which the sun and planets evolved billions of years ago. 67P is a short period comet, which means a comet taking less than 20 years to complete an orbit of the sun. The orbit has apparently changed recently due to interactions with Jupiter. Its current orbital period is just under six and a half years. The Rosetta mission was designed to answer critical questions. What is the material composition of the nucleus? What forces have acted on the nucleus to produce its unique shape? How have its surface features evolved? And what is its dynamic relationship to the sun and the solar wind? Of particular interest will be the analysis of readily vaporized materials, volatiles, such as water ice or carbon dioxide ice. The popular model of comets today requires detectable volatiles because it assumes that comets become active due to warming by the sun. Absence of such volatiles, either on the surface or exploding from beneath the surface, would bring an end to a theory that has dominated comet science for more than 60 years. Thought to resemble a dirty snowball, but does this theoretical assumption actually hold? What would it mean, for example, if the Rosetta mission brought comet theorists face to face with a dry rock in space? For decades, comet investigation has been punctuated largely by surprises. But there is a well-supported alternative. It does not forbid water ice on comets, but doesn't require ice either. It is the electric comet hypothesis, and it anticipates some profound surprises in the appearance and the behavior of Comet 67P. It predicts that we will see electrical activity, and that this activity will amount to an electrochemical factory, creating chemical byproducts that are not native to the nucleus, including water. As the probe drew close to the nucleus of 67P, the shock to mission scientists could not be contained. Two roughly hewn lobes joined by a thin neck, cavernous depressions, sharp peaks and spires projecting into space, sandy dunes and other bizarre configurations of sand and dust, all in the absence of an atmosphere to create them and across the entire surface, a field of sharp-edged, rock-like rubble. In the vacuum and deep freeze of remote space, how could a dirty snowball or an icy dirt ball have slowly accreted into such a profoundly irregular object, all from a primitive cloud of ice particles and dust? 67P looks like a jumble of fused rock but comet theorists say that appearances could be deceiving us. As the Rosetta probe accompanies 67P over the next year, it will likely answer that question and a lot more. The space sciences as a whole, and comet theory in particular, are inseparably entwined. Is it possible that our understanding of comets is mistaken at the theoretical ground floor? If so, the effects will reach far beyond our ideas about comets, and that's a very good reason to follow the evidence wherever it leads.